All right, all right, we're gonna get started. Hi, Twitch community. Hello, YouTube community. Welcome back to Huli Talk, the hottest new podcast where we sit with beautiful, successful, talented women. We talk about fun topics, share inspirational stories, and we even play fun, steamy games, depending on her mood, of course. Hey, Laura Horns. I'm your host, Tracy Z, and we're on episode 58, y'all. Yes. Shout out to Kila Mandala, Sip Mandala. Cheers, beautiful. Cheers. And this is the Halloween episode. As you can see, we got Spider Woman and you got, well, I don't want to call myself a clown, but ha, ha, ha. That's what I am tonight, a cute clown, yes. All right, wait, did you just slip? No. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Chad, RNGZ, hubby, Drizzy Dre, and Tutorial Village. Hello, 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 and everybody watching, welcome. Thank you for watching, yes. Okay. All right, okay. So I want to introduce my beautiful guest. We got Katie Bay in the house. Hi guys. She is an artist, a model, as you can see, the body of Bonnie. Yes. <laughs> she was born in New York, but she was she also moved to LA, also grew up in Hawaii. She grew up in different places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's an Aries. And we're gonna get to know her a little bit more. And I did mention she's an artist, so we're gonna hear some of her work. Yes, and both of these songs I absolutely love. One is called Heart Go, the other one is called Venting. And the first one we're gonna listen to is Heart Go. Eh, Heart Go. Heart, Heart Go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Heart Go by Kitty Bay, y'all. Yeah. Kitty Bay, and now we're gonna listen to the second song, and it's called Venti.
Katie Bay. We, the first one we listened to was Hard Go, and the second one was Venting. And I absolutely love them both. I hope you guys like it. No, it's a vibe. <laughs> but Venting is my shit. You know, it's giving Kelly Uchi. It's giving. I mean, you're your own artist. You know, but this it just vibes. reminds me of it. I love her. And I love you. You know. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to know Kitty Bay, and I want to ask you some artist questions. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so I know that's right. Pass the Dutchie from the left, no, right hand side. It's some side. <laughs> no, like he says left hand, but I was on your right side. <laughs> um, okay, so what inspired you to do music? Like, why did you want to be? Why do you want to be an artist? I've always liked the realm of creativity. Yeah, I've always written music instead of like poetry the poetry of what end up turning into music yeah at some point in time i told myself in my lifetime i have to put out music of my own and then there was a certain chapter of my life that like in a way inspired me so i ended up not recording the previous music yeah and i just recorded that period because it was yeah. pretty it was pretty intense and i'm so really your happy. music is is it's the, like a therapy it's a true story yeah okay Sorry. <laughs> but no, music really like helps me like it's like my own form of therapy. Mm -hmm. And I figured if I can like make a career out of something that makes me really happy and feel good, then let me try it. I live in LA, why not? No, absolutely, absolutely. You know? <laughs> and when you're in your creative mode, like how do you prepare to even write new songs? I mean your story is your story, right? But I'm not gonna lie what's to you. It's the process like. It kind of just, it just sounds so weird, but it just kind of comes to me. Oh, okay. No, that's not weird. That's no, not weird. Like, okay, I get it. perfect example, Heart Go, right? Yeah. Heart Go is the third song I've ever recorded. The first song I've recorded was One More Try. Okay. And I was realized like all the other songs that I was going to record was pretty depressing in my head, or it wasn't as like upbeat, it didn't really represent me. So I was like, I gotta write a song real quick that's like, I feel like it's me, yeah. something that like makes you want to dance or whatever. Something I could just like easily make people digest what I want to bring to the table without like feeding in too much of what the first project I dropped was about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I like have a voice note that at some point like, oh, I'll put it out there. But I'm like walking out you, of CBS. You're planning to release that voice note? At some point, yeah, why not? Oh. <laughs> um, I was... That would be great for your album. Like, yeah, that'd be I have great. to do a disclaimer. I silently dropped this album, by the way. It's called Enum. Um, yeah, is it out? It's out right now. Yes! Girl, you better promote. I'm like three months old. I've been making music for like three months. No, but it's amazing. You would have never, I can never tell. It's really your natural, for real. Thank you so much. I would not lie to you. <laughs> so, okay, so tell us where we can hear this amazing music. So, the project is called Enum by Kitty Bay. K I T T I B H A E. Um, it's on all platforms. Um, it's a really good project. It's supposed to just kind of show range so that like whatever I put out in the future, you won't really know like what like realm I'm going to be dipping in. But I feel like Heart Goes like a really good representation. Like yeah. I was saying earlier, like I was walking out of my car at CBS mm -hmm. and then I was like, okay, something catchy. Jersey's pretty catchy. And I'm skipping and I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and by the time I'm like in the car, I'm like recording myself, like trying to come up with something. Yeah. I'm like getting ready to drive off and I end up coming up with like heart going like wow. four five minutes. And that's then I had amazing. a session in like three hours because it was like four a.m. Okay, come on, songwriter. <laughs> I know that's right. And yes. I had a session of like like maybe nine, nine a.m. And I was I just gonna it. stay up. Yes. Okay. So now ooh, wait. <laughs> you know, I felt that sneeze. And it would not come out. When she was talking, I was like, Lord, please don't let me sneeze while okay. she's talking. So I'm glad it came out right where it came out. Wait, and you slipped. It's okay. It's my process. I'm about to sneeze again. Hold on. It's okay. I'm going to sit. My knees are weak. Wait, it won't come out. Just like, don't think about it. What do you think about it? I want it to just come out because it's going to Should I wear my glasses? Okay, it went away. Never mind. Or it went away. I take them off. All right, now to the Halloween question. Okay, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be cozy talk if something didn't happen, right? Turns out. <laughs> okay, what was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid, and why? A witch. 
Why? I don't know. Like, I love witches, by the way. Witches are dope. They I feel are. like when you like get first introduced to Halloween, you get this ghost, you get the vampires, you get witches. And yeah, stuff. yeah. So you pick a category, and I've always geared towards like witchy, sh- witchy stuff. Am I allowed to cuss? Yes, witchy girl. shit. I love witchy yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, no, I just kept dressing up for. Ha- I think I dressed as a witch for like three or maybe four Halloween straight. You know, I think I did like too as a kid. Of yeah. it. And vampire. Vampire was my go-to. Yeah, it was like vampire, which yeah. one of the two. It just like... I'm obsessed with vampires. I love vampires. Okay. <laughs> what was your favorite Halloween treat? Ooh. Okay. We just get the candy. Yeah. I like banana Laffy Taffy. Banana? That was specific. Banana Laffy Taffy. Nerds. I love nerds. I love when they give me nerds. They always give you so many nerds. Oh man, and I'm so opposite. Candy. That's the candy I give away. What? I, yes, I used to pick out the nerds. I'm hurt. Like the lemon one, the, the Ooh, lemon, no. or the ghost one, the the clear I, shit. Yeah, I all of those can shit go was, for it was me. So good. <laughs> or the jumbo size candy bars. And Anything. Candy corn can go. This big. I you love like it. I love candy corn. What? And it tastes like, like wax. Licorice. No, it tastes like wax. No. Licorice is disgusting too. Licorice and I lo- you like all the candy I hate. We would love to- I would love to go trick or treat with you. Yeah, because then it would be an easiest exchange. Like you, you can have all the nerds, you can have the laffy taffies, yeah. you can have the candy corn. Do you I would take like- all the chocolate. I was gonna say, do you like Hershey? Yes, yeah, yeah, some do you like the tissue rolls? Yeah. Uh, no, I hate tissue rolls. I was gonna say I always throw out my tissue rolls. Yeah, I don't like tissue rolls. I think everybody so for- much tissue rolls. Yeah, because they're the cheapest candy. You get that candy for the low low and low. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate tootsie rolls. Tootsie I don't rolls like tootsie rolls. No, no, not girls take that light taffy. <laughs> They're like, oh my god. <laughs> no, I agree, Andy. That is facts. Candy corn should be banned. I want to see the comments. Yeah. Oh, he says he likes your costume. You like my costume? Yeah. I'm gonna seek you so much. I aspire one day to be Mary Jane. Yeah. So I'm dressing up as my future man. This is what you call manifesting. Yeah. No, candy corn is cringe, Tutorial Village. What? I agree. No, it's gross. No, candy corn is really good. It's Actually, it tastes like when you like really, when you don't think <laughs> about it, that's when just When you don't think fire. about it, I want to think about it. When you don't think about it, it's so good. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, this question: Have you ever played with the Ouija board, and did anything strange happen? Absolutely not. I do not play with no, spirits. Me I know neither. family members and stuff will be doing that stuff. No. I don't play with them. No. They don't bother me. I feel like I'm really sensitive. Yeah. So if I start playing with that type of stuff, they're not going to leave me alone. No, yeah, no. So no, The Ouija board is a, no, a hell no for me. Hell like, no. no. I don't play with the people that Barbie are Barbie Beasy says she's funny. She is. I Okay, so Kat, <laughs> I've, known, I've known Kat for a while. Kitty Bay. No nope. <laughs> I've known her for a while. Like, how many years would you say? Like, damn. It could easily be six, seven. It could be a six, sevener. A six, sevener. Oh. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've known her for a while. And she is very funny. She cracks me up. Okay. The next one. Oh my God. We just talked about this, but I'm still going to ask it. <laughs> In a candy trade war. What candy do you keep no matter what? And what candy do you get rid of no matter what? I will keep the bubblegum and lollipops no matter what. Any bubblegum lollipop. It's same. Nerds. I love that. Oh, we agreed on one. Or I love those. What's those? Airheads. I love Okay, I love airheads. airheads. I love okay, airheads. Okay, now we have some candy in common. Oh. <laughs> Finally, because them nerds just can go. And, and the liquid. I would have ate all of it, too. You have to take it on my, like, my I would have gave you all of those. I love this. <laughs> okay. Based on your personality, which fictional character, which are you? Oh, I love that question. Based off my personality, fictional character? Yeah, a witch. It's Ooh. like, what day of the week are we talking about? <laughs> what witch are you? What witch? Yeah, what fictional, based on your personality, what witch would you say you are? I mean, it could be from a movie, a TV show. I would say like, Maybe either I don't know. I guess Sabrina. Maybe I you were gonna say that. I Sabrina why. or Sabrina Spellman. Wasn't there something called like Twitch? Twin? No. Was yeah, with with T and Tamara. Yeah. Twitches. But I, I don't have a twin, so I guess it's not possible. But that would be cool because it's realistic. Yeah. But I would for sure say Sabrina, or I'll say Loki Maleficent. Ooh, if I had like 
a little art or something. I don't know. Melissa says she's just a bad bitch. So and it is. And it is. For me, Why not? for me, it would be. Damn, I forgot the name of the character, but I know the actress. It's Angela Bassett, when she played a witch in uh, a New Orleans witch in American Horror Story. Season three. I know what you're talking about. I love that season. Well, first of all, I'm like a diehard American Horror Story fan. I didn't get to watch a new season. Did you watch it yet? No, because I'm going to be honest. The last few seasons haven't been good for kind me. Of a, I was going to say, I want to say I'm an American Horror Story fan. Like but Murder House is classic. Kind of but my favorite one is which one? The, the Coven. The Coven one is oh, a good Oh, that's my mind. favorite one. It's so good. So I would say, based on my personality, I'd be Angela Bassett in The Coven. That's a good one. Yeah, good she, one. She, she was a... I was going to say, she kind of passed She was. She was I know. Younger. She was kind of that yeah. girl. And was. <gasps> Where are you? Hi. Hi. Okay, one day one. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Happy Halloween. It's not Halloween. I want a heart. Oh, yeah. Just hold it steady. You got it. I don't know. It usually works when I do it this way. <laughs> you push right this way? Uh-huh. And just... Yeah, but just hold it steady. It'll come out. There it is. Ah! Okay, sorry. Hard. And it matches your costume. It does. Okay, next question. Okay. What villain or monster do you think is misunderstood? Is Deadpool considered a villain or monster? Or He's Mystique? not a villain or a monster, I don't think. Deadpool's supposed to be a hero. He's just like, edgy. Okay, what about Mystique? No, none of those are monsters. Oh, She's okay. a mutant. She's a mutant. Okay. This is like a villain or a monster. I mean, she was a villain, though. That's what I'm saying, Mystique. So like, you think she's misunderstood? I do. Why? Because how she has the perspective of so many different personalities and bodies and people. And she could morph into anything. She could become anything. To have that ability at your fingertips comes with a different set of perspective. Yeah. And if you don't have her perspective on life, you're never going to understand like where her morale and stuff is rooted. So she may come off like... I guess edgy or bad or yeah. against the grain, but like it makes sense if you understood like where she's coming from. I don't know. I like. Oh, I love that explanation. Yeah, okay. like perspective is important when yeah, you understand when your villain that way. Or I guess the Joker. I feel like he just the got Joker a lot of mental is definitely illness. Misunderstood. <laughs> but which Joker is misunderstood? Yeah. I feel like the Jack Nicholson Joker. He knew what he was doing. Like you know, he was calculated. Like people, you know, he wasn't misunderstood. I just feel like it did. But you I see still what you get. feel like all of them yeah could have really like benefited from some therapy <laughs> i mean yeah and maybe the arc might have been like deviated or something i don't know i think the joker that's misunderstood is the uh joaquin phoenix one actually yeah he's so misunderstood that joker that, that joker is yes. specifically definitely i really feel like he is absolutely all right describe the haunted house you create if money were no object <laughs> What would your your haunted house would be lit? <laughs> First of all, you don't even you, you're not gonna you're you're gonna be on a conveyor belt. Yes, conveyor belt. And what are we doing in this conveyor belt? This conveyor belt is gonna take you to a maze. Okay. Which you will pick three paths, and each one will be a journey. Oh. And then journeys are going to take you on. Wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, is it different ones? Like there's like each path is gonna yes. take you on a different kind of journey. One is gonna be like virtual. Mm -hmm. The other one is gonna be more physical. Oh. And the other one is gonna be more willpower. And each one Damn, is gonna like, girl. test you on like a character base type thing. And then and then we're gonna add the added bonus that you might die. Somebody's gonna like chase you. Die. With like a with, what's those things called? Nancy Chainsaw. White chose her for the Halloween episode. Yeah, like you're gonna have some like people chasing you and shit, or like. But that's if you go to the physical one. Nah, like there's gonna be a threat in each one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the AI one, you might be in a war zone. <laughs> Who knows? The AI one is scary. You know, it's just your is mental, the right? One? Yeah, the virtual oh, one yeah. is gonna take you wherever you take yourself, right? Damn. And then you're gonna be fighting your own demon. And if somebody kill you in that virtual one, you're dead. And then the physical one, you physically you die, you physically die. <laughs> and then the spiritual one is like, you're in this journey, you're in this journey, but if you don't find your path, buddy, you logging off. <laughs> Wait, why Andy said, why Andy said that sounds kind of fun? And then <laughs> he thought it was LMA or nah, never mind. <laughs> I think about some anime type shit. Like, just some anime about this. <laughs> Dre, damn, not this. <laughs> Everybody was with you until every, the, death, the death part. 
But as soon as she said, you die, everybody's like, ah, no, 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 it's not that you die. You go through something that tested. You could test, survive it. You could survive it. Right, but you we could still die. It's you real. You could still die, though. Girl, hell no. I wouldn't go to your maze. But it's really, really, really. I feel like. Crazy. I would not go if to my maze. not an option, why not go? I'm Maybe it's in outer space. No, that's scary. The fact that you could die, that's the Hunger Games. Like, it's for real. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Like I don't, I don't even know what path I would pick. Cause you said physical. No, you said virtual, physical, and uh, uh, willpower. Like spiritual, yeah. Spiritual willpower. What do you mean by that? Like you're fighting your own personal demon. Oh hell no, that's scary, girl. Yeah, and if you're all fucked up, girl. You, you know what? Virtual one, because that was not real. But it is. Oh fuck. You're right. Real. You did say it was real. <laughs> Damn, girl, you're twisted, and and I love it. Aha. Who gonna play the games? Oh, Who gonna play the games. The Tom Billy said for Kitty, I might take that risk. No, just think about it. It's lit. There's some game. There's some Would anime. You go on your own maze? No. <laughs> Wait. So you created this haunted house, but you won't go in it? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna kill y'all, but I'm gonna survive because I ain't knowing. What plot I, twist? Plot twist. What plot twist? You die, right? But you don't really die because you're gonna wake up and then you're gonna like. Girl, be in the afterlife, girl. girl. They did. <laughs> They're going to wake up and it's going to be in a whole other dimension. All right. Next question. Yes. What is your least favorite thing about Halloween, if any? Curfew. 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 Depending on where you are. If you're in Amsterdam or if you're like in Miami, I mean, they party till the wheels fall off. Yeah, but then it's not like authentic Halloween. Like in the U.S., it's like a, um, an American holiday. Yeah. And I feel like they shouldn't restrict the hours to celebrate that. Yeah. They should just let you do you. It's Halloween. Right. Everybody's right. in these costumes. Yeah. They put in hours, time, sweat, blood, tears, all that. And you want me to only wear it for four hours? Why it's not? not enough until, time. I agree. Why not for a week? I agree. Okay. Let me stop. <laughs> If your life was a scary movie, what would the title be? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> that might be the intro. That's what, you should call your haunted house that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so oh, you shit. dying. Oh hell no. No, you should call it all oh, hell no. Oh. <laughs> but it won't be PG. Right. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen or felt the presence of a ghost? Yeah. Really? I mean, yeah. Do you want to talk about it? I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm curious. <laughs> I want to know about this presence, girl. What did you see? Okay, so, boom. Well, it's like, there's like many stories that like goes on since we were kids, right? Ooh. When I was a kid, my grandmother had this apartment in the projects. This is my Harlem. So okay. like, a lot of people run through it. Yeah. So I don't know who the previous tenant was when I was a kid, but yeah. I, I don't know. I was like one of the first grandkids. So I used to complain about how there was somebody crying in the bathroom. I used to wake up Not because crying. I kept hearing somebody crying in the bathroom. I was like, this is Not like Yorona. <laughs> I kept telling my mom and my grandma, I was like, somebody's crying in the bathroom. She's telling it's all this other stuff. Boom. I'm, I'm not at the house like that, so my mom and I, we're somewhere else. All the other grandkids, as they're being born, one by one, they're all complaining about the same lady. And it's not like I'm there to like tell them, like, hey, yo, there's a lady in the bathroom. So they're all girl, hearing- like Yorona, girl. <laughs> they're all hearing the you same like lady. Yorona, girl. And I remember when I was a kid, I came back with all my cousins, and we all woke up at the same time, and we walked into the bathroom, and the lady was just standing there, and we looked at her, and we were just like, is this real? <laughs> and then we just went back to bed because I I thought I was dreaming. But then later on we talked about it. We all thought about the same thing. And what did she look like? Was she like like see through? I just remember. No, I just. Or was she like an actual present? Okay. What I remember is like somebody's just like there. Yeah. I don't remember if she was like ghostly or if she was like a person. I just remember somebody in the bathroom just crying. And she's just crying loud and I'm like, bro, I'm Girl, that sounds like La Llorona, girl. Do you know who La Llorona is? No. What? Okay, so La Llorona uh -huh. is, uh, is, well, you know, it's supposed to be a mythical, like, you know, story, but I don't know, that may be real. So she, like, drowned her kids 
or whatever. She was like very like crazy or whatever. Yeah. I think like her man left her. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. And then she like, you know, she comes out at night and cries for her kids. Like, girl, you killed me, girl. Like, like what the hell? So yeah, and she like, yeah. So like exactly what you described sounds like La Llorona. And like, I wonder if you like came- All the grandkids saw her. All the grandkids complained about her. Cause yo, I was trying to sleep. I'm just trying to sleep. And there's this, this woman just crying in the bathroom, like, hush, please. I got school in the morning. So she got to meet La Llorona. I, no, I don't know. Kinda. Maybe. But you saw, no, it was definitely her. But the crazy thing is, we on the 13th floor, and I never put one plus one equals two together. Because like, 13th floor, the, the where we were placed, like, it's all really spooky. I should've known there was a ghost. That's scary but as hell, girl. I thought she was real, but the family kept saying she wasn't real. But you saw it. Everybody saw it. All the kids saw it. I saw it. Oh, no. Something's okay. there. Is there a movie that scares you to this day and why? Ooh, I have one. What? Final Destination. You know what? You know what? Damn, girl. I didn't even think that, but that's actually a good one because it's so realistic. Like the way they go, like that could happen. That's just spooky. Especially the one in the freeway. I cannot go to a pool yeah. without feeling like I might get my butt hose. <laughs> no, no, seriously, no. Final destination is something serious. No, you are not pole. lying. You are There's not lying. Driving girl. in traffic when that pole went through. Girl, the that's the one that scares posters, me. Roller posters. All them things that was happening. This is I'm like, oh my. Like that really could happen. You could be behind one of those and it happens. Like, dude, that's too realistic. Psychological like, thriller right there. Final Damn. destination. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say the exorcist. No, to this day, I'm like, like right. that can happen. That's yeah, scary. that's scary. That's scary. <laughs> the demonic possession, too. They're both scared. Ooh, child. Yeah, no. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, I'm all right. scared about that. <laughs> well, that concludes our Halloween questions. That was fun. Yeah, I loved all your answers. That was amazing. Now we're going to go to some fun dating questions. Some more hot topic questions. Okay. What's the piece of what's the best piece of dating advice you've ever received? Don't rush. Don't rush. That's a good one. Don't rush. The get to know you phase is the best phase. Yes. It's so intentional, it's so pure, it's so nice, it's beautiful. That time is so prime. Let that person pay as much attention to you as they want to. The get to know you face is perfect. Take your time. Take That's it slow. good advice. Let it marinate. You know? Don't rush. Don't rush. And that brings me to my next question. Do you believe in love at first sight or love that just grows eventually? Love at first sight definitely grows. You believe in it? Yeah. Have you ever been like in love at first sight? Yeah. Really? <laughs> what is that? Like, how did you know? What was it? Them doing absolutely nothing, quite literally just existing, and something about it makes you smile. And then, like, moments later, either, like, at that time or, like, later on, you interact with that same person, and you feel the same joy. And then every time you keep interacting with that person, you still get happy. And that's like love at first sight for me, where it's just like no, you bring me continuous okay. joy and smile. And if it grows from there, and it becomes something different. Ta-da! I love that answer. <laughs> okay. How do you think dating has changed in the past few years? It could be virtual now. That is true. Like some people's dating experience is completely virtual, and to me that's crazy because you know, I feel I'm like there's going to be a time where people even date robots. That's already happening. <laughs> if people are dating robots? If it's a thought, it's already happening. Yeah, well, that is sure true. There's people that are dating, like, sex dolls. There's people dating their, like, stuffed animals. That is true. That people is true. dating their computers, their phones, <laughs> themselves. <laughs> Come okay. on. What's your idea of a perfect first date? What does the perfect first date look like to you? A night that was that started out planned to a night completely unplanned. Ooh, 
Ooh. When it goes from like a little structure, a little spontaneity. Yeah, like when it's like I actually enjoy you. Yeah. Let's keep it going, and you keep seeing how long you could be around this person for that first time. Yeah. That's always a fun experience. Okay, I love it. What co what qualities do you value most in a potential partner? Consideration. Consideration is important. I feel like nobody's ever said that. Consideration. I agree with this. Like, needed Absolutely. in a relationship that yeah. is supposed to be healthy. Consideration Absolutely. has to be there. It's be forefront. Like, selflessness. Yeah. Um, and stubbornness. I would be stubborn about this love. Yeah. yeah. My mom. Yes, I love that. Oh, you're a lover girl. I love it. A little bit. What's a deal breaker for you when it comes to dating? Mindset. Ooh, mindset is important. Oh no, my nose ring. No. Oh. To the ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> now it's still it's there. It's there. Well, that concludes our hot topic questions, guys. Now, here's a message from my sponsor. Cozy Talk is brought to you by Always Together Management, your partner in every transaction. Safido Candle Company, where our candles are made with love. Tequila Mandala, award-winning small batch premium tequila. Sip Mandala. California Hot Tubs in Marina Del Rey. Tell them Koozie Talk sent you and get 10% off your own koozie. Yes. That was a message from my sponsors. And now we're going to go to the mood segment. <laughs> Girl, what time are you on? Are you on angel time? Or are you on demon time? Is limbo an option? Oh, she's gonna be bold. Okay, so we got a hybrid. We got a, a demon angel. Yeah. Angel oh demon. All right. Got halo. Oh, I like that it's cocked to the side. <laughs> And we got some horns. Perfect. All right. Ooh, it actually kind of. Yeah. It should kind of match. So we are going to start with a halo question because why not? And the first halo question is going to be what is your love language? Acts of service. Acts of service. Actions speak louder than words. So let's rank them. There's five of them. The most important is acts of service. What will be your second? Communication. Is that words of affirmation? No, it's communication. No, but is it? No, it's there's it's <laughs> acts of service, words of affirmation, gifts, uh, physical touch, and quality time. Oh, those are the five. Quality time is the second one. Yeah. Okay, and the third. words of affirmation, gifts, or, uh, let me say an acts of service. Oh, physical touch. I feel like with acts of service, you're already giving. Right. So then I guess I will go to, communication's already affirmation, so I guess gift giving. Okay. No, wait. no the third one would be words of affirmation, then gift giving, and then physical touch is last. I'll put physical touch third. Okay, okay. Physical touch third. Because the other ones are like forms of acts of service. Right. And forms of communication. Like when you communicate, you communicate your feelings. You yeah. communicate like your perspective. You communicate your problems. Right. And part of that is affirming. Okay. So I feel like I'm going to just tie that to communication and put words of affirmation last. Okay. Yeah, because words are just words. Actions speak louder than words, like I said. Okay, now we're gonna go for a demon question. If you could have a one night stand with any celebrity, who would it be with and why? Oh uh, no, I think Mans is married, so I'm gonna have to skip. <laughs> Wait, who's married? Say in my ear. Don't say it loud. <laughs> no, he's not married. Yeah, he is. To who? And and the other one is. 
No, he is. He is. He is for sure. But the other one? Yeah, he is. Oh. I think so. It's just like low key. Oh, maybe. I, I, I thought he was single. Nope. When did he get married? I mean, but he is low key. He is All pretty low key. <laughs> All right, now back to Halo. Is it, do you think it's important for a couple to have a matching sense of humor? To a certain extent, y'all can't keep missing it. What do you mean? Like, if every joke for each other is a miss. Oh, yeah. Then it's like, but if some of them is like, ah, oh, you're not on this type of shit. It's like, it's cool. Yeah. Then I could put you on to this type of humor. Yeah. But like, to some extent, you got to match my free. <laughs> Alexa played Tanache. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Would you ever have a threesome? I wouldn't say no. Whatever that means. <laughs> okay. Let's make this interesting. If you were in a relationship, would you bring a third party? Absolutely not. Or you're, <laughs> or you're single and you would be the third party? No, neither one. So then you would... Situationship. Not gray area. But the, yeah, that's that would be the second word. No, a situationship is like not a relationship, but y'all also not single. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? It's a little gray area. But if you my man, you my man. I might consider it, maybe, possibly, but not really. Okay. I, I, I'll say consider it. Not the Ooh, heat. See, look at that. Now that's a poozy talk first. <laughs> the halo feathers are wet. What's worth the bag? Oopsie, I'm sorry. No, girl, it's fine. It'll dry. All right, you got a wet halo. <laughs> All right, wait, was that a was that a halo question we were on? I don't no, know. we're on a deep question. Yeah, so I my halos it. fell off. My halos Look at our halo. Like, this part is dry, this part is wet. <laughs> Rocky roll. Okay. What is the cheesiest pickup line someone has ever used on you and did it work? Yes. And it worked? It worked. That's funny. It's Ooh. very funny. What do you know the line? Fuck. <laughs> I had it and I lost it and I wait, what was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, it was one of the ones that you'd be seeing online all the time. It, it was, was like a common one. It was one of them common ones. But it was just like so innocent because I know he only said it because he doesn't talk to girls. But he was like... What do you mean you don't talk to girls? He's like more like introverted. Okay, okay. And so he tried to hit me with what like his friends are telling him and he was like... Also because he likes my body. <laughs> I mean... He was yeah. like, ooh girl you look good. Are you staying fit? Oh wait, I know. Cause you've been running through my mind all day long, huh? Ooh, and I'm he like, hit you with the corniest one, and you loved it. <laughs> what is happening with the with the halo? Oh, and the horns! <laughs> Fuck no ring. Wait, and the nose ring on too. <laughs> she done lost everything. The halo, the horns, and the nose ring. Ah oh, man. I'm sorry, this should crack me up. <laughs> he was the sweetest. Oh God. <laughs> What's going on with the halo? <laughs> <laughs> the halo don't want to stay on. It doesn't. Hold on. Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Did I there we go. Okay, boom. All right. It's steady. My Pop bad. Side. All right, and we're back. All righty then. Okay. Wait, was that a halo question I just asked? It was. It was a halo question. Okay. Now we're going to demon time. Cracking. Um. If you could switch genders for a day, what would you do? Touch myself. <laughs> <laughs> what does this feel like? <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You've never had one. And That's the know. only difference. Like, if I'm a different gender, there's nothing different. I'm still like, you know. So like the only thing that I'm changing is my sex. So what I'm oh, gonna yeah. do? I'm gonna try it out. Okay. I'm gonna touch myself. What's the most <laughs> memorable? <laughs> Wait, what? Tutorial? Did I say touch myself? Is probably the universal answer. 
No, it is. A lot, a lot of people have said that. I'm so happy. Nobody judging me for that answer. No, girl. Like, no, I, no, that's actually a common I'm answer. Touch myself. Some girls say that. Some girls say head. Some girls say... Well, they want to know what a vagina looks like. I don't even like. know what I would do, but the first thing I'm doing is playing with my pee pee. I mean, that's that's natural. Immediate. That's natural. <laughs> that's natural. Okay. What's the most memorable first date you ever had? Do you have like any memorable first dates? <laughs> um. Or wait, a memorable, a memorable first date, not first dates. Wait. First the first. <laughs> okay, so I think there was just one time there was some not one time, but there was this person that like we were talking a little bit beforehand and so he kind of like really put a lot of thought into like the date. So it was really catered around me. We went to like an art museum. And we we made some pottery. Then we went to oh, go. Pottery? You know, I've never done that. I want to do that. That shit romantic as fuck. It's, it's giving ghosts. Yeah. Ghost. I love that. Was he behind you? Yeah. Oh, it was really like ghosts. You really reenacted ghosts. Like, first he was on his side, and then, like, at first I was going to come to him and help him. At first I was going to come to him and help him. But then I realized, like, my shit was falling apart so he like jumped up and tried to help me catch it before it falls Aww. and I looked up at him I was like we both don't know what we're doing so what we doing he was like fuck it and then we just left the pottery we didn't even finish the damn pot and then we went roller skating and then that was we, that was the most that is that is memorable I would remember that for sure. yeah and then we went and saw you and then we went to like a random ass rave afterwards because somebody hit him up about Damn. after hours. Let me know when you know of a rave. I want to go to a rave. I've Raves never are been. so randomly fun. I've never been to one because and I don't know where they like are. A date option? Can you and let they, me know the next one? What's going on? Yeah. You 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 know where they are. Yeah, there's a couple of raves that do after hours. Girl, take me, girl. I've never been to a rave. I just want to go just to say I've been at least oh, one time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now time for a demon question. Lay it on me. Oh, what's a fantasy that you think about often but haven't shared with anyone? Um, to be watched. To be watched. Okay. So you're not the voyeur, but you don't like voyeurs. Both, both sides. Oh, you would watch too. I think I would watch. I'm not sh No, I have. But. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? She wanna what? On both ends, I feel like if you're, if you feel beautiful. Yeah and you think other people think you're beautiful and then your partner is also beautiful and then y'all can do the thing beautifully i don't know if i want to be watched i feel like it's an art i feel no like, I, I feel, feel that i'd rather watch than be watched i'd rather i don't know i feel like experience wise i would want to just try it just because yeah but as far as like what i would prefer to i guess i don't know if i would prefer watching because it's creepy do you think that you would be the same do you think you will perform the same, like if nobody's watching, or because someone's watching, would you put on a show? I don't know. You know, there's people like that. Yeah. If somebody's watching, they're like, they'll really. Why the fuck not? <laughs> why the fuck not? <laughs> put on a fucking show. <laughs> All right, DZ, it's called. I feel like voyeurism is something you can just play around with. I don't know necessarily the specifics, but it's definitely something I think about exploring. Why not? Okay, last question, and then we're gonna move on. Okay. Oh, if you could write your own dating profile bio, what would it say? She cute. She smart. She slipped it. Call me. Okay, that was fast. That was I don't even know how I thought about that that fast, but I feel like you straight okay. to the point. Or I'd be like, I'm funny, guys. I'm funny. Call me. I don't know. Yes. Well, that concludes the mood segment, guys. And she killed it, of course. Yes.
I think you only skipped one. And that was the the celebrity one. Yeah, no. But I still gotta look into that because I don't know if he's married. I feel like he's married. That's not cool. Maybe. You may be right because he's very low key. He's yeah. very low key. All right, now we're gonna go to my favorite game, Will of Fame. But before we do, I have to hit you with a disclaimer. Will of Fame disclaimer. Koozie Talk guests are asked to spin the wheel featuring various notable public figures and choose one from the option that has to go, as in their careers never existed. Please note that the statements and choices made by our guests during this segment are their own personal opinions and preferences and do not reflect the views or opinions of the Koozie Talk podcast, its hosts, producers, or affiliates. The Koozie Talk podcast does not endorse or promote any negative sentiments or intentions towards any of the entities mentioned during the game. This segment is intended for entertainment purposes only and is meant to be a light-hearted and fun activity for our guests and listeners. Thank you for watching and enjoying the Koozie Talk podcast responsibly. All right, guys. I'm reading now the chat. time for Will of Fame. So, yeah, she was that's a good theme song. She liked it. <laughs> okay, so you know how this goes. My beautiful guest is gonna spin the wheel a few times, and when it lands on one, one has to go. One never existed. Ooh. All right, girl, you ready? Yes. All right, let's spin. Now this one is actually Halloween inspired, so it's all Halloween vibes. Okay, Ooh. we're gonna have fun with this. I'm excited. All right. Yes! Nobody's ever spin the wheel like this. She crossed her leg. She oh. said, yes! Yes! It's giving like the girls from, is that the Wheel of Fortune? Is it the Wheel of Fortune or is it Price is Right? <laughs> she's like, your price is right! The price is right! She's like, all right! And now she's gonna spin the wheel. First round! Now I want you to spin like this the whole time. Okay. <laughs> but it's, oh, your head's not cut off. You can still see your head. All right, one has to go. Ooh, we got the classic villains. We got Freddy Krueger, Jason, Michael Myers. One has to go. Ooh, which one's gonna be? Jason. Why? Because I like saying Michael Myers. <laughs> Wait, what? So Jason gotta go because you like saying Michael Myers. Like, there's like this TikTok, and it's like this little guy, this guy who's like Michael Myers. <laughs> Whatever reason. Please send me that. <laughs> Wait, so let's talk about Michael Myers. It frustrates me that like he never runs. Yeah. And how does he catch them all the time? He's him. He is him. That's why. why. Like he just said, why? Michael Myers is him. That's why. <laughs> okay, from the three, I think I have to agree. I would go with Jason too. I would go with Jason. And Freddie Cooper is like it's Freddie Cooper. No, no, Freddie. I love Freddie. Like, how are you gonna say no, Freddie Cooper? Right. And Michael Myers. <laughs> Freddy actually wouldn't bug me because I don't think I dream, or at least I don't remember them. Also, if we got rid of him, I wouldn't have to worry about it. You know, because that's kind of, yeah. this is the fucked up concept if you it is. think about it. It is. <laughs> it's a really fucked up concept. <laughs> no, it is. It is. It is. It is. Okay. I'm going to spin again. So we have Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Mummy. One, yeah. Hey, <laughs> damn, that was quick. She said the Mummy. I agree, though. I agree. The Mummy can go. How are you gonna get rid of Frankenstein? Yeah, the Mummy can go. Come on. Frankenstein is cool. That was a losing battle. I'm sorry, Mummy. You cool? Wait. So everybody said that Freddy can go. Really? Who said that? Damn. That's what they voted on the poll. Okay. Next one. So we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Scream, or The Ring. One has to go. The Ring. The Ring, why? The other two are classics. Yeah, Scream is a classic. You I can't love Scream. That word. And yeah, and Texas Chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, damn, I have to agree with you, yes. The other two are just classics. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. The, the Ring can go. 
The ring can go. Sorry. Is it a movie? And she's creepy as hell. Yeah. All right, spin again. childhood classics so we have hocus pocus the nightmare before christmas and casper one has to go hocus pocus nightmare before christmas oh i thought you were gonna get rid of hocus pocus i'm like girl wow for the spring long you love oh, witches <laughs> okay yes so hocus pocus nightmare before christmas or casper one has to go we're not getting before Christmas. What? I'm sorry, but Casper is just such a like cool reference. I love Casper. When but you know when your your mom is like, who did it? Casper? Come on. Right. Come on, Casper. Right. You can't I take him so. out. Like your mom uses it, your dad uses it. We think about it. It's a great movie. He's wholesome. He's a great guy. You know. No, I can't let go of Jack Skeleton. No, I just love Tim Burton too much. I love Tim Burton. Yeah, no. Like, Actually, Casper, Casper would have been the I one for me. I know I love Casper, but like, I love Nightmare Before Christmas more, and Hocus Pocus ain't going nowhere. Hocus Pocus. Okay, you know what? Honestly, Loki, Hocus Pocus, because the other two are classics in that regard. But I still would choose Casper and Hocus Pocus overall because yeah, I feel like this is fair for me. No, it's definitely it's we a classic. We got some witches. We got some gold. But yeah, Casper got to go for me because I just love the other two too much. All right, we'll spin again and then we're gonna move on. Okay. One last one, why not? Oh, you gotta spin again because it landed on the same one. Oh wow, that happened. It does. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gonna land on. Oh, you guys spin again. I do? Yes. Because it landed on the same one again. One more time. It could take a spin. Huh? It could take a spin. It is. What the hell? It keeps going to the same one. Let me guys spin it again. <laughs> She had to spin it so she lands on a new one. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Did you get poked by the plant? Oh no, something touched me. It was the plant. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was the plant. <laughs> oh yes, and we have the clowns. Hello. All right, so we have Pennywise. Okay. AKA it. Then we have the Joker. And then we have Art the Clown from Terrifier. Ooh, he's creepy. Art One the Clown. Yeah, yeah, he's really scary, no, right? I'm choosing Penny. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. He has to go. I'm sorry. Yeah, he has to go. Pennywise, you know. He can. But he eats the kids. He eats the kids. Yeah, That's crazy. They're all fucked up. But you no, not the Joker. The jo well, no, Joker is pretty fucked up too, but he don't eat kids. I know. No, he stays. Joker's just like, he's a staple. But oh. then the other guy, he eats kids. Yeah, but you didn't choose him. You chose Art the Clown from Terrifier. Yeah, he can go. Why? Because he's not cool like the other ones. Wait, so it's cool? I think Pennywise? So. Yeah. He eats the kid. Yeah. That's crazy, right? You should choose him. <laughs> That's wild as fuck. Oh, Why not RGB, Jesus? So if you guys don't know who Art the Clown is, <laughs> he's in the movie Terrifier. Look up Terrifier on Google and he is very terrifying. He's creepy as hell. He's a creepy clown. Very creepy. He's creepier than Pennywise to me. Pennywise eat kids. That's yeah. dedication. Yeah. I'm yeah. a choosy bro. You win. I don't appreciate what he did with you Jordy. You take that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. I know. That's horrible. I saw this meme on Instagram. It was raining, and this boy had the, you know, the yellow trench coat and like, you know, a little bike. And oh, he was like, Caroline he was like, you know, like kind of going towards the drain. And this was real life. And like, there's a voiceover like, wait, he didn't watch it. Tell him no. Tell him no. No, no, Georgie. 
Oh my god, I was dying you laughing. Don't send that to me. No, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, we had a tie between it and the Joker. Really? So you guys chose to keep Art the clown. He's the creepiest one. What? The, what? No, Art the clown is something else. These people are just trying to go. Oh, and they just the added the movie on Tubi. The Art. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah. said to me. <laughs> it is. It's not to me now. <laughs> I love to me. I'm oh, sorry. I love to me. No, I love to me. Now, to me's dope because to me be putting out all the shit. They don't, you know, Fox they don't hold back. Really? Yes, girl. So now they have like 500,000. That makes more sense though yeah. because Fox is already also unhinged. Yeah. So it's it just is. like. They are. No, the terrifier is on a girl. I was like, wait, it's not to me now? <laughs> And I'm definitely gonna watch it. Okay. All right. Well, that concludes the Wheel of Fame. Yay! <laughs> and she killed it, of course. And now we're gonna go to our next segment. Which, wait a minute, are we doing both? Are we doing one? Act out or teachers of life? Oh. Oh. We should do two truths and a lie. You ready? You thought of your lie? Yeah. Okay, she's ready. All right. All right, guys. Now we're gonna go to two truths and a lie. You want. The truth. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> All right, girl, are you ready? Yes. All right, girl, hit us. Okay, so my dad's a twin. Your dad's a twin. I like to jump off of waterfalls for fun. Oh. And I was in the military. Oh. Damn, these are good ones. Twin. Your dad's a twin. Mm -hmm. What was the second one? Name? I like to jump off of waterfalls for fun. That's right. And the third one was. Military. Military. All right, Lifeline. Come on, chat. What we doing? What is the <laughs> lie? Is her dad a twin? Is that a lie? Does she jump off of waterfalls for fun? I mean, me knowing Kat, I could see her doing it. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> or military. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> I'm like thinking, I'm like, you guys help. What do you guys think? Military Let me know. strong. Mm. He said, waterfalls for fun. Niggas can't swim, LOL. Yeah. And you're right. What I am I doing? Said, well, I can't swim. I'll admit it. You know, I think I can. I'm just scared to go to the deep end. I can swim underwater for sure. That makes I'm sense. I'm really swimming though. I'm really sitting down. Okay, yeah, RMG said, Spider Woman likes to jump. <laughs> That's a good conclusion, actually. I see what you did. Yeah, doing. he says that's my logic. Laughing face. You know. <laughs> There's a method to the madness, I see. Damn! What they saying? I can't see no, that. No, I'm saying damn because I gotta think of which one's the line. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should read this. Let me put on my glasses. Yeah, go ahead and read while I think. <laughs> Okay. That one for sure, I think it's a Military is a lie. Spider Woman likes to jump. That's my logic. Okay, okay. So it's between the jumping that and the jumping. nice and foggy. Uh, that's so funny. Yeah, what do you think? Help. Yeah, what do you think? No. 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 Ooh. Okay, damn, that doesn't help. It's a tie. Somebody said that's a twin waterfall jumping. Shit. Okay, All right, I'm just gonna just say it. Fuck it. I think the lie is you're jumping on waterfalls. You think you're jumping off of waterfalls? Damn, but I feel like you could do that. Or is your dad a twin? That's possible too. Not me knowing you for six, seven years, but I don't know if your dad's a twin or not. <laughs> Oh, you got it. I wonder what they say. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're making, real me, they're making me think right at this now. point. They're making me think at Right? Because it's all tying up. I agree, though, with the poll that it's between data twin and waterfall jumping. I think the military one is true. Because I did say she was from different places. All right. Damn it. I may be wrong. So I'm just, I don't know. Okay, the waterfalls. Waterfalls are your final guess? Final answer and I'm locking it in. All right. I like to jump off of waterfalls for fun is false. Oh. Actually, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You got confused? This happens. <laughs> <laughs> this ha no, 
I'm saying this happens like with other guests. Wait, wait, wait. Jumping off of waterfalls for fun is true. Well, you do like doing that. I used to do that shit when I lived in Hawaii. It yeah, was like waterfalls and cliffs and you can like Hawaii. jump off of So your dad is not a twin. <laughs> My dad is a twin. <laughs> Wait, so the lie is the military? I thought you in the military, girl. No, I thought you said, oh, I misunderstood the question. So hubby was right again. And I didn't go with his answer. What do you say? And RMG too. Uh, they both said military, but Are I misunderstood. Because remember, you say you were a military brat. You said yeah. So I don't know why I thought that. I'm like, no, that has to be the truth. Damn, yeah. she tricked me. That I grew up in the military. That was good. That was but good. But I never been that in the good. military. Damn. Yeah, you were right, RMG. She's Damn smart. So <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, are we doing the other one or? So I have a scene from our favorite movie. If you want to. Okay. You ready? Let me think. Um, um, you have to. Um, but we still, before you go, I mean, you gotta let me know and then, you know. Fuck it, let's so do that it. That concludes Two Truths and a Lie, guys. Two Truths and a Lie. Thank you guys for participating. Okay, you were Before we all go to wrong. the next segment, which by the way, I haven't had someone to do both, I don't think. Maybe, maybe one guess. But I don't know, I can't remember right now. But are you ready? Yeah. All right, so here's Act Out, guys. All right, quiet on the set. Camera speed. Sound production, take one. You ready? Yeah. Okay, action. Can't you feel it? Brand new day. Not a musical. Can't you? I'm a loose already. I hate musicals. No, 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 no. Is that a musical? No. Listen, listen. Oh, it's just one that's in. Oh. Yeah, yeah, lock in. Okay, okay, okay. So say it again. Do it again. Action. Can't you? Wait. Very flashy. Hold on. Because I have makeup on. Oh, wait. The way I need a napkin is burning. Because I have makeup on. Is the way it's burning. Oh, wait. Wait. Hey, I'm blind! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Okay. Wait, in the frame! What happened to the frame? It's not a frame! Why Wait. does it keep going out of frame? Oh! Wait. Oh no! Oh god, Matias is getting us right! Aha! Oh, heat! It burns! Oh, heat! I don't know. And I don't know what the hell that movie's from! Help me! Help me! Blinded me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm okay. okay. Oh, I thought I heard something. No, I'm tripping. Okay. Okay. You guys know what that's from? Because I don't. That theatrical movie. Wait, wait, wait. It's like here, here, here. I'll give you an example. It's like a historically black movie. There's a few Can't things. You? It's a brand new day. Can't you feel it's a brand new day? Wait, tutorial with Billy says hell no. <laughs> <laughs> RMG said raisin no. in the sun. He said, no. Wait, is it supposed to be a horror movie? No, it could be anything. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because no, it was not a horror movie. Okay, does anybody know what she's doing? Um, was that him saying, song? actually, you know what, and then going, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what's another song from it? Yeah, yeah, one more song. It's not Sister Act. Um, no, it's not Sister Act. I can't think of a rest of the thing. Okay, 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 okay. Honestly, it's the ending scene that really got it for me. Um, at some point in time, they had like the scene when they visit this one guy and then the room changes three different colors and they do three musical pieces per color. The Wiz? The Wiz! The Wiz! I got it right! Yes! The Wiz! You 
know what's so crazy though? I did think of the Wiz, but then I was like, That's damn. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yes. No, I Ooh, thought of it right. Yeah. I didn't want to say it. I to be wrong. But I was right. Yes. Oh my God. That was like the ending scene when they're like ripping off their clothes and they're like, catch it. The Wiz is awesome. I used to watch that again. You know, I watch it a gajillion times. You want to hit this? It has a filter, so you're good. Yes! Well, that concludes Act Out. It was from yeah. The Wiz. I was just scared to say it, but I didn't It was The Wiz. It, so I was like, ooh. I was thinking either Sister Act or The Wiz. Don't ask me why those two, but... Sister Act? I don't know why I thought Sister Act. I was thinking, oh, happy day. No, that would have oh, been... That would have gave it away right day. away. That oh, right happy day. <laughs> Jesus Paul. Okay, so that concludes Koozie Talk. Oh my God, you were amazing. I love this following yes. episode. I had so much fun with you. Thank you for coming on. Yes, yes, yes. This was so fun. But before we go, <laughs> and this is the Halloween episode, we got to talk about our first annual Halloween party. Yes, Siren. It's going to happen on the night of Halloween. If you're in LA, please join us. There's the link in the chat, I think. But if it's not, just go to koozietalk.com and you can get your tickets there too. That's C-U-Z-Z-I talk.com. Yes. Oh, there's the link right there. Perfect. Oh, sweetie. Oh my God. Hi. I didn't I don't know how long you've been here. I'm sorry I missed you. Hi, babe. Red hearts for you. Yes. It's a turtle village. You know what's up. Siren. Yes. So Absolutely. if you guys are in LA, please join us. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be lit. And of course, there's gonna be some sirens there. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, that okay. Angel. Halo. But okay, so I do want to show you what the vibe is like. Yeah. So here's an intro to our party, y'all. Here we go. what the fuck are you doing are you i'm just doing? saying i'm just saying get your tickets join us it's gonna be a vibe wait what happened oh no <laughs> she became a siren that's what happened uh -huh. the video done turned her into a siren yes all right y'all i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in i had so much fun with my girl kitty bang <laughs> we got to listen to our amazing music hearts throw up our hearts thank you guys thank you for watching <laughs> love you guys Mwah for tuning in if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends we'd love to hear your thoughts so leave us a comment below and to ensure you never miss out on our latest episodes click that subscribe button now see you next time on koozie talk bye koozie talk